So I had a little bit more time to kind of calm down and think about why they are suing. And I'm probably going to get a letter via certified mail, uh, which is FedEx. I'm expecting that letter today or on Christmas. Uh, if you don't know, lawyers always send cease and desist and frets around the holidays. They will always wait for the holiday. And they're, the idea is they're trying to bully you. They're trying to ruin your holiday. So don't let them get away with that. And I already have wiped this out of my mind. I will be making... It's fantastic video content, to be honest with you. A lot of what Jeff Wilson said about my marketing agency, if you read closely, yeah, I'm in marketing consulting just like Jeff. I give advice on marketing. We are both marketing companies. In fact, I don't know what number he's registered. I think it's called a NACIS code or something. I wouldn't be shocked if we are under the same code. We're both marketing agencies, which is what I said. A prime example is your only human source for accusing Wilson parties of fraud, incompetence, yada yada. Uh, you hold him to be a digital marketing oracle. Hey, I, I've been called that before by Google, so... Maybe I am a digital marketing oracle, but I am a marketing oracle. And Jeff has a marketing company. I have a marketing company. Digital ads is marketing. So you notice how the lawyer is trying to separate my business, but I'm positive as I've gone on Jeff's website and screenshotted it. We provide a lot of these same services. Actually, let me read you the uh, service page. And I have both screenshots because, you know, they're screenshotting. I'm a lawyer. I'm going to screenshot too. If I get a letter, I'm going to write Jeff a letter back explaining to him that he is bullying a small company. I have never said that we were a giant company like Jeff. Uh, his page says build digital products. Digital products. We help the world's biggest brand define, build, and grow exceptional digital experiences, which is what I do, right? Digital ads is a digital experience with customer-centric and evidence-based approaches. Okay. And based on the companies he works for, like insurance companies, I've worked for that in the past. Book a strategy session. This is from Jeff's page. Want a fresh set of eyes on your challenge? We were extremely collaborative and happy to share our thoughts, meet a product expert. That's what we do. Test, learn, and scale. That's what we do. We optimize. And then he has a list of um, integrated capacities. Product strategy, go-to-market. We do go-to-market strategy. Product design, we do that as well. Market research, again, we do that. Customer insights, product management, user experience, UX. We have so many blogs about user experience on our website. We have over like 5,000 blogs when you combine the two websites. Uh, web and mobile development. That is what we primarily do. In fact, you can watch the Gunless channel and you know that we build websites for a living. We build websites so we can run digital ads for a living. So, And then their counter is that I state that I took $1,000 in PPP loans for RunRex, but there's no record of me taking those loans. I just remember the government giving me $1,000, and I didn't want the $1,000. Then the government wanted to give me more loans, and I didn't take those loans. So maybe I didn't take PPP loans, and the government just gave money for no reason. I don't know. But regardless... Their, if their argument is, I said that I got $1,000 in PPP loans, and I actually didn't get $1,000, I got $0 in PPP loans, how is that a good argument? I wish I got zero. I wish I could tell people that I didn't take any money from the government at that time. I just remember, I have to go back and check, that I received $1,000 from the government upon advice of my Chase, uh, Chase Banking to just take the money. Yeah, Gutterless is, you know, Gutterless is, uh, go on Gutterless.com right now and you'll see that it's a, con it's a marketing consulting. We also consult on, you know, we also consult on legal matters involving patents. I'm a patent attorney, of course. So in short, it has obviously little common with, no, I disagree with that. I absolutely disagree with that. 
I believe that we are in the same business as Jeff Wilson. I wholeheartedly believe this. He even has integrated capacity. He has um, user acquisition. We do that. Activation and loyalty. We do that. Marketing and advertising. Technology consulting. I don't know why he's picking on my little company. Uh, we obviously are not as big as him. We don't have the physical lease, commercial leases that he has to pay, of course, because we're smarter than doing that at this moment in time for a marketing agency where all everybody is remote. You try to hire somebody, even in Houston, and they're going to want to work remote. They're simply going to want to work remote. So my takeaway from this is Jeff is just very upset he wants to ruin people's holidays, and I wouldn't give him that opportunity. And he's probably going to try to sue me, and I will counter-sue him back. Jeff is a public figure, so they got this right. The level of, they have to prove malice towards him. It is very difficult to win a defamation or slander case when you're a public figure. You have to po prove malice, as they mentioned in the lawsuit. I, for my videos, I still make videos about Jeff. In fact, I make them on the other channel. I think sports cards was a bad investment. I think Jeff was promoting sports cards as a good investment. You look at his video titles, you know, I spent this much money, I spent that much money, I spent this much money, I spent that much money. It is clear that he's trying to get you to buy his Market Movers app, which treats sports cards as a stock. I have a problem with that. I also have a problem with his NFT project. Uh, we know how NFTs are today. Uh, I have a problem which he minted, and I think a few people, I think 10 or 20 people bought into it. I have a problem with him promoting people like Mojo, not Mojo the YouTuber, but Mojo the app that creates players. And, you know, I would love, you know, in Discovery, I think if we get to it, and I hope we do, I can actually figure out how much money he got paid to promote i assume he got paid either in equity or in actual physical money to promote these things because they seem so random there are no views on it and then people are saying scam in the comments again i'm not saying scam i didn't say it was a scam but there are people who jeff might may sue in the future my overall takeaway is jeff and i we are in the same business and i'm going to show it to you right now i'm going to take my website and we're going to look at Jeff's website and we're going to compare what we do for a living. We do exactly the same thing, Jeff, for a living. To say that it's not an apple to orange comparison, the argument might be that you're bigger than me. Fine. If you want to bully that and that's your argument, then go for it. But their argument cannot possibly be that you are a marketing consulting agency, as you mentioned, and I'm not. When I have invoices, I have paid invoices, um, I have, I have everything because we've been in business. So you can look at what we're offering, right? But you can click on see all services. We build websites. We build, you know, we obviously do a lot of digital ads. That's our bread and butter, but we build websites. Uh, many of our clients, when they start with us, they don't even have a website yet. So web and mobile development, we do that, Jeff. Go to market strategy. Yeah, a lot of our clients, they're just beginning. Uh, for any new client, they're going to need all of that. They're going to need product design, market research, customer insights, technology consulting, marketing, advertising. So I don't know. I mean, here we have custom website design, and he's got web and mobile des development. So development design, it's the same thing, Jeff. It's the same thing. So marketing advertisement, this is all marketing advertisement. And in Discovery, I'll figure out exactly how much money he makes from each of these categories. The idea that he's doing physical events, uh, we've done physical events before. You know, we put on physical events and outings and you know, obviously COVID-19 didn't help that particular market, but that's why we shifted. We build more websites, we build you know, more Google ads. I don't know why Jeff Wilson is picking on me. Uh, obviously, he's picking on Sports Car Radio because they're they are you know coming after him pretty hard. And I hope that Sports Car Radio wins. I hope they pursue this to the bitter end because in Discovery, 
And I will say this. If Jeff sues me, I will go to the bitter end with him. I, A, don't believe that a public figure like Jeff, without showing malice, malice is really hard to show. The You have to show, like, internal e The only way that it really gets proven if there's, like, internal emails and they're leaked and stuff like that. And I just don't have any malice toward Jeff. I think what Jeff did uh, is, you know, criticism isn't malice. Criticism is, I think, what Jeff did was very harmful for a lot of individuals. And I think those individuals have every right to be angry at Jeff. I mean, his very name of his channel was Sports Card Investor. What are you saying about sports cards? You're saying that they are an investment, that they're a safe investment that you can make. And when you show all the money that you're spending and so on. So obviously Jeff is mad about my PPP loan video about Jeff Wilson. Um, he's, you know, filed legal action i use that in quotations against sports card radio yeah my company is the same i'm sure that they have google analytics i'm sure they have analytics you know google mobile I've, i'm sure they care about google ads and seo i mean it would be very irresponsible for a marketing consultant for digital products as they say to not actually do the services i do so anyway at the end of the day you know, Jeff Wilson is, you know, if we have to go to war, Jeff, I will go to war until a bitter end. And I'll document it all on multiple channels because I think it would actually be very, you know, uh, great content, right? Um, and when you pick on the only way to stand up against a bully, you have to stand up against a bully because who knows how many people he's trying to bully that are not public about it because they're worried legally. I'm a lawyer. I'm okay. I'm Gucci, Jeff. You keep paying those legal fees. I'll represent myself. I'll write you a letter explaining why, given your website, given your employees, their, their job titles, and so on, we are in marketing consulting together.